LJ, you seem nervous. I'm not, I'm not nervous. I'm just cold. And this office just reminds me of, you know, I see. I'm just not looking forward to paying for another one of these sessions is all. Well, what brings you back? Okay, well, let me ask you this. Can't we just like start over where I don't know you, you don't know me, I'm like a whole new patient? What makes you want to start over? I just, I don't want the person I used to be to reflect who I am now. I'd rather just be judged for me now and not everything else. So can we just start over, please? If you want to start over with someone that doesn't know your past, what made you choose the therapist that you've been seeing for years? Because... LJ, you've got to give me a little bit more than- Because so far you're the only therapist who hasn't called me a liar. Well, I think we've been working together long enough for me to be able to tell the difference between your stories and your stories. What brings you back, LJ? Got fired. What happened? And we're about to get evicted. Oh, that sounds like a lot. Um, who is we? Me and together. So you two are sharing a place? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't we? Well, the last time we spoke, you were- very angry with together and I, I quote, um, I will never effing speak to that selfish effing box spring bitch ever again, unless I died. And even then I would rather die than speak to that two face together again. So I am glad to hear that you two are on good terms again. Yeah, well, it's the only family I got despite our differences in life. Well, you know more than most that sometimes family is kind of hard to get along with. So do you want to talk about why you got fired? Not really. All right. Uh, well, did you want to talk about the eviction? Definitely not. That's the last thing. Okay, well... And we didn't get evicted. It's just a possibility that could potentially be more than a possibility in the near future and is actually a definite and is set to occur in approximately 16 days. So we haven't been evicted yet. I see. But it's cool. I'm not even worried about that. I can figure it out. It's just a potential definite, you know, so it's not a big deal. I can... I'm, I'm not worried. Then what are you worried about? I feel lost. Do you know what might be causing you to feel lost? I don't know who I am. I ran away from my life at home to find myself and lost myself even more at an early age. And I'm scared that I never grew up into the person I was supposed to be. And who do you think you were meant to be? I'm, I was supposed to be there. That day that I told him I would, that I would be there and I wasn't to see your brother. That's when I realized I didn't know who I was and I didn't know how to be the person I was supposed to be. I, I took too many wrong turns. I went up when I was supposed to go down and every, every direction besides the way I was supposed to go. And if I had just been there that day, I would have been able to find myself again. LJ, we've talked a lot about your family in the past, especially your mother, but we've never discussed exactly what happened that day. Do you feel like you might be ready to talk about it? I don't see the point. Well, if you're not comfortable, we definitely- I'm not uncomfortable. I just, it's a long story and it's confusing. So LJ, you don't have to talk about it today. Well, you gotta understand, I was a different person. You were nine. And even if this happened a month ago, I'm not here to judge you. I don't even know where to start. How about you start when you and Together decided you were gonna rescue your brother? I had been traveling the world with Together and her mother and her mother's posse for almost a year at that point. I had just started getting popular on YouTube, which is something I had wanted my entire life. What's up guys, it's LJ. For some reason, I was starting to feel homesick and I really missed my dad and Christina and Avery. I even missed my mother, but I especially missed my brother. Hey, what's up guys? It's LJ. We're back in New York City again. It's really loud here. And someone asked to see my shoes and then proceeded to lick the bottom of them. It was really weird. <laughs> we'll be in Colorado next week. Hey guys, it's LJ. I just wanted to thank all of you for the nice comments you've been leaving lately. I know there's been a lot of negative ones. I love all of you and stay positive out there. Remember to keep your family close because it really sucks when you don't have them anymore. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So you weren't in communication with your brother at all? No, we threw our cell phones out the window during the runaway. So when Amberjack got a new cell phone, our mom made sure to monitor his activity and he wasn't allowed to talk to me. She probably bribed him with an Xbox game. I see. And how did you get in touch with him? I saw a comment on YouTube and I knew it was him because it had the same gamer tag that he uses, used. 
for Xbox. So I gave him my new phone number. Hey, together. Yeah? You remember my brother? Uh, no. Yeah, the kid we met at the Hard Rock Hotel in Tampa when my mom was there. Oh yeah, that kid was your brother? Yeah, why? Because you've never talked about him before. I thought you were an only child like me. Then who did you think that other kid was that was hanging out with my mom? Especially when I introduced him as my brother. I don't know, I guess I forgot. You're so lucky you have me. You wouldn't notice anything if I didn't point it out to you. I would say that you are lucky to have me. Oh yeah? Yeah, how else would you have gotten all those connections to make your social media so successful? You would have never gotten there without me. And you've never even said thank you. Yeah, but I could have still done it without all of that. I, I could do all of this by myself if I wanted to. What did you want to tell me about your brother? Oh, yeah, we need to come up with a plan to help rescue my brother. What do you mean rescue? I made a promise to him that I wouldn't leave him behind with our mother, and it's been almost a year and I haven't done anything. Is your mother a dragon or something? What kind of rescue are we talking about here? Yes, she is most definitely a dragon. And I couldn't be more serious about that. Well, I'm not doing any of your weird schemes. It's not a scheme. Scheming sounds bad, and this isn't bad. This is a rescue mission, and you'd be the hero. Where is he? Savannah. We're never in Savannah. Yeah, but we'll be in Atlanta for connecting flights next week. So? So we'll be close enough that we can figure out a plan. I don't know much about your last runaway situation, but I know enough that I would never- I know what I'm doing this time, and plus it'll be way easier. How? Because your mom and her friends are literally plastered before we even get to the airport. They can barely keep track of us as it is, so if we just so happen to disappear between flights, I don't think anyone would notice. You're joking. Not at all. What if my mom freaks out? <laughs> Together, no offense, but your mom wouldn't even notice if we disappeared forever. I mean, she might write a crappy song about it, but that's probably it. My mom just doesn't like to show that she cares about me in front of her friends, which is all the time. So, so what do you say, are you in? This is crazy. Yeah, but not as crazy as that one time that we got locked in that guy's refrigerator in Norway. Please don't remind me of that. That is another reason why I shouldn't listen to your crazy, stupid plans. Yeah, but you know when I get us into sticky situations, I can always get us out. I guess so. I care about my brother more than anything. I really need to do this. More than anything? What about me? I'm practically your sister too. I know, I do care about you, but he's, he's my real brother. Which is why we should bring him here so we can make our family even bigger. Your mom wouldn't even notice if another kid was hanging around. We'll just have to watch out for my mom because if she sees me trying to take Amberjack away from her, she'll also lock us in a freezer. And this time, I'll be terrified. What's the plan? So you convinced her to help you. They and yes, I'm sorry. Oh, together uses they, them pronouns. My apologies. So you convinced them to help you. Together was always easy to talk into stuff back then. Tell me what happened when you got to the airport. Once we got to the airport, we did exactly as planned. And of course, Together was freaking out. Stop fidgeting. The more you panic, the more someone's gonna realize there's something up, so just calm down. Suddenly, I couldn't help but feel like this was just a repeat of everything that had happened a year ago on the train with my brother. The more you panic, the more they're gonna realize that there's something up, so just calm down. I felt like I had been here before and it made me feel sick. I didn't understand why, because this is what I had been missing, so I tried to ignore it. Why is the plane still on the ground? Doesn't it fly? Mom, go sit down before you get us kicked out of the Sky Miles Club again. What? Who are you? I'm your daughter, Mom. <gasps> Together! How did you get here? You look just like Mommy, baby. I live with you. I rode in the car on the way to the airport with you. Thanks, Mom. <gasps> David! Is that a cheese platter or tuna? I cannot believe she forgot about me again. You were right, this is gonna be way too easy. Look, maybe we should just forget about this. What? I mean, maybe you're right, this is too risky. I've never done this at an airport. And you tell me this now, literally moments before we're about to leave? I, I don't, I don't know. I, well, you seemed very confident a day ago that this would work. Since when do you back out of your own plans? Since I'm scared. Scared? You're never scared, what's wrong? I don't know, it's been a while since we saw each other. What if he's different? Or what if he thinks I'm different? And what if he doesn't want to stay with us? And what if my mom catches us and then we get in trouble? It's okay, I, I know I've never had a real sibling before, but if you were my real sister, I would do anything to stay close to you. Really? Yeah, I mean, you're really annoying, like as hell, but I wouldn't have had as much fun on these trips without you. And honestly, I was really lonely before you. We can't leave your brother behind. Attention passengers, we are now welcoming our priority flyers let's to go, please let's board the go. plane at this time. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy. You ready to run? I'm ready.